1964, Brothers of the Sacred Heart from Quebec, Canada, arrived at Essendon Airport. It was from here, under their direction, that the parishes of the region started St John's College for the education of boys. Parents of students from across Braybrook and surrounding suburbs contributed to the building of the new school and its facilities, including tables, flooring, benches and outdoor spaces. Whilst the new buildings were being built, students were taught from portal classrooms, but were still part of the foundation works and could often be seen working with the builders and brothers as the college took shape. Students also participated in major events like the St Patrick's Day Parade in the city. As the college grew, so did the involvement of the community in fates, paper drives and other school-led festivals that celebrated its growth. The brothers went on to establish Chisholm College in 1979, a co-educational school for students in years 11 and 12. Almost three decades earlier, in 1954, Father Thomas Murray of Braybrook established Christ the King Primary School with the assistance of the Sisters of St Joseph to educate girls. From 1956, the school was led by the Sisters of the Society of the Sacred Heart. The school was initially held in an empty migrant workers' hostel. Christ the King Primary School later expanded to include secondary education and changed its name to Christ the King College in 1963. Caroline Chisholm Catholic College was founded in 1997 when Christ the King College, St John's College and Chisholm College merged. Who was Caroline Chisholm? Caroline Chisholm was born in 1808 in the village of Wooten, Bedfordshire, England. An Anglican who converted for love to Catholicism, she was resolute that marriage would not affect her freedom to pursue a life filled with public duty. An unconventional wife and mother for her time, Caroline pushed boundaries. She was a force of nature whose charm and compassion earned her the status of the emigrant's friend. As a young woman, Caroline arrived in New South Wales in 1838 and was appalled by the plight of the colony's young female immigrants who, with hopes and dreams of the new world, had no employment or accommodation. With moral courage, she took on the establishment. Caroline's education, social justice, ecumenism and religious tolerance made her a natural advocate for the most vulnerable in her society. And she was ahead of her time in her thinking and strategies, establishing the Family Colonisation Loan Society to fund better living conditions on immigrant ships her vision for the colony did not end with their arrival in Australia. She fought to set a minimum wage and work contracts and founded employment agencies in dozens of rural centres. Caroline accommodated multicultural families through her shelter sheds built on Crown land in the western regions of Melbourne during the Gold Rush. Her Australian legacy continues in the advocacy work of the Caroline Chisholm Society, along with other namesake organisations. At Caroline Chisholm Catholic College, her legacy is lived out through the values of faith, acceptance, compassion and excellence. Faith is at the heart of our college. We live faith-filled lives and give thanks daily with morning prayer. Weekly liturgies provide further time for contemplation and for worship. And really we endeavour to live out the philosophy of the Sacred Heart Brothers in every aspect of school life. And it's really guided by the deeds of Caroline Chisholm. I'm Marco de Cesare, Principal of Caroline Chisholm Catholic College. I've had the honour of leading this great school for the past eight years. Our diverse community includes families that have been a part of this college since its inception. Their stories are varied and rich, from generations of locals to those who have travelled from afar and made the West their home. Today, we're very proud of the 80 plus nationalities that make up this great community. As staff and students walk the grounds of our college, they encounter many faces. The Peace Boy, a symbol of peace and unity within the college community, and a reminder to our young people, their choices and actions in life will play a pivotal role in our world. The Homeless Girl, who we reach out to through our compassion and efforts to help the vulnerable. Our House Saints, whose noble works of helping others inspire us daily. Our wall of nations, it reflects a large, inclusive, cohesive and vibrant community that we call home. And it's symbolic of all the ancestors, grandparents and parents 
who have walked this earth before us, led by the figure of Australia's first peoples. Caroline Chisholm, our namesake, the Virgin Mary, a young, innocent woman who gave birth to our Saviour. And Jesus as a young boy, still vulnerable but strong, facing the reality and realisation of his gift. Really contemplating his innate connection to the wisdom of the universe. Each faith shares our values of faith, acceptance, compassion and excellence. When you put the first letter of each value together, it spells out face. And our young people are the faces of our future leaders. Faces of Caroline Chisholm Catholic College is a celebration of our history and more. It's a collection of wonderful storytelling, a look at our shared backgrounds, customs and culture. The book features current and former students, staff and families through beautiful photography and words. They stand proud as members of the college community. Their stories add to the rich tapestry that is Caroline Chisholm Catholic College. The book reflects on different journeys taken in life thus far and the realisation of the gifts bestowed upon us. Faces represents the community and the people that are in it. We wanted to share stories that you may not hear about because every face has a story to tell and behind every story is someone's face. As we officially launch Faces of Caroline Chisholm Catholic College, I acknowledge all those members of our community for sharing a little bit about themselves. I also acknowledge and thank our team who worked hard to make this idea a reality. I hope you enjoy reading Faces of Caroline Chisholm Catholic College.